Elizabeth has always been involved in the community. And I think she got her inspiration from her mother, frankly. It started in high school and it carried on in college. In fact, she was her senior class president. And I, I think she carried on that commitment when she went to work for Mary McElhaney, who worked for Senator Mitchell. First time I heard Elizabeth Sutherland's voice was on a phone call from Presque Isle, Maine, where she was an intern for Senator George Mitchell. Didn't take long to realize that we needed her in Washington. She was capable, smart, funny, can take care of people, can solve problems. When Senator Mitchell announced that he was no longer going to run for the Senate in the fall, it took Elizabeth 30 seconds to realize that she was going to come back to Maine. And aren't we lucky she did. I'm not surprised that she started and grew and expanded a successful business. Elizabeth was finding success in her business and I was finding success in mine. And before you know it, we found ourselves right here, at the back table at Uno's, talking about the company that would become Sutherland Weston. From the beginning, we've made a pledge to support work-life balance in our employees and use our resources to better our community. One of the projects we're most proud of in our history is Arena S. We wouldn't be in the building we're in tonight if it were not for Elizabeth's involvement in the Arena Yes campaign. She accepted every challenge. She would get us back on track when we wandered off. There's a picture that appeared in the BDN the night we won the vote to build this. If you look in the back of that picture, there's Elizabeth Sutherland. And the day of the big beam signing, Elizabeth Sutherland's name is on that beam. I moved to Bangor 10 years ago and the first name I started to recognize was Elizabeth Sutherland. She was the board member you wanted, she was the person you needed to know. What makes nonprofits and everybody in this community want that time with Elizabeth is her mindset, her understanding of the community, her ability to see all sides of a problem and to really help you get from point A to point B and it all has Elizabeth's stamp on it. When Elizabeth chaired the campaign uh, about 12 years ago, we were so thrilled to have her. She's very driven, and when she sets her mind on a goal, you know you're going to meet that goal, and you're going to find creative ways to do it along the way. Always asking good questions and uh, focused on, on the finish line and how are we gonna get there and engage as many people as we can along the way. The Community Health Leadership Board knew immediately who to turn to when COVID hit and we were in a time of emergency. Elizabeth Sutherland. Elizabeth helped by developing an entire communications plan to move us through masking with the Mask Up For Me campaign, interactions with decision makers around the community. Elizabeth was a true leader and shared her expertise so generously. Every leader, no matter how great, always can find room for improvement. Email correspondence with Elizabeth. Getting a response from Elizabeth on an email is a lot like getting a refund on your taxes. It's a good thing when it happens, you just never know when it's gonna come. I find that Elizabeth is very responsive to my emails. I might get an email from Elizabeth out of the blue. I feel very special because of that. Let's just say I got her cell phone pretty quick. Pony Express might be faster. Early in the morning, it could come late at night. I must be the only one. Sometimes when you least expect it. Did she learn this from her mother? I did not teach her that but she learned it all on her own. Several of us have gotten together and we have enrolled her in a remedial email response course. Her classes begin next week. I once said that Elizabeth and Rick were like the Rob and Laura Petri of Bangor. If that is true, 
It makes Elizabeth Mary Tyler Moore. Who can turn the world on with her smile? Who can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile? Yeah, she's more than a mom. She's an awesome provider. Yeah, dad, he is okay, but mother ain't no one beside her. She's clutch. She does so much for her community. As she loves me and Ian unconditionally. Elizabeth, I want you to know how very disappointed Sharon and I are that we can't be with you tonight. But I want to leave you with this. You were the incomparable, and you still are the incomparable. Elizabeth, I am so proud of you. I know your father would be incredibly proud. Hey, even your brother is proud of you. Elizabeth, you are not just a professional mentor and leader, but you're also a friend. And I'm really happy for you that you've received the recognition and delight around you for really changing our community in so many positive ways. I predict this award will one day be named for you, so it does not come as a surprise to me at all, but I'm personally grateful for all of your support and mentorship, and I know the entire community is grateful for what you bring to Bangor to make it a better place. Elizabeth, for all the things that you've shown me and all the things that we've learned together and all the things we have yet to do, I want to say thank you and congratulations on tonight's award. I have yet to meet a more deserving Dowd Award winner than you, my friend. We're all so much better off for your service, for your investment, for your creativity, and your enthusiasm. You care so much about this region, and it shows in everything that you do. Elizabeth, from all of your friends who are family, those of us who had the pleasure of working with you when we worked in the Senate together, congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stand and join all of us in recognizing this year's Norbert X. Dowd Award winner, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Sutherland. Sutherland. Here's Lee Speronis of the Cross Insurance Center Advisory Board presenting the Norbert X. Dowd Award to Elizabeth Sutherland.